Right, so then, for these Big Rig Dizzy packs, we've got two options. This is something completely new. We have a 400 credit pack and a 2000 credit pack. Now, if you've played Gears of War 4 for a while, you'll have the same gut feeling as me that the 2000 credit packs are where it's at. Obviously, they cost five times the amount as a 400 credit pack, but I've personally found in the past that 2000 credit packs have given me more security and better drop rate. Because I've just take the last pack, for example, the Spectre pack. I had to spend 70 to 80, I had to buy 70 to 80 packs to get both characters and although the credits for that are 32,000 if it was 80 packs, that is still a lot more I feel than what a 2,000 credit pack would have, uh, would have offered it. So in this video as it's going along you can see me open my 400 credit packs first and it's pretty much your typical 400 credit pack it's two rares and a common and that common is normally the emblem and i'm looking at it now that was two emblems in a row and that's three emblems in a row so but i i've done some statistics at the end as you'll see a little picture uh just to help you make a decision on which packs to buy uh my personal opinion is still the 2000 credit packs are a lot better however i feel for these packs they've adjusted the legendary drop rate in 400 credit packs as you'll see from the picture at the end uh, for the number of packs people bought uh, versus the legendary drop rate uh, I don't think we've seen something like this in past 400 credit packs so cog officer was 400 credit pack as well and one of my friends was up to 90 packs I think and he didn't have both characters so that's a huge you know a number of packs to uh to have bought and not get both characters whereas if it was a 2000 credit pack i don't feel like the uh character would have been so hard to get as you can see i got big rig dizzy in my fifth 2000 credit pack so that's 10,000 credits but i don't know the stats kind of i i i started this video with the intention of saying that the 400 credits were a complete waste but for this pack specifically they are not but if i think if they do this Again, you'll have to watch a few videos to make your uh, judgment on weather. So if I if I put the pick up after I've shown off all these weapon skins, then you'll see what I mean. So uh, I'm just going through the skins on my video. Right. Okay. So if you look at the photo I've taken now, fifty four four hundred credit packs and uh, 26 2000 credit packs. Now this really shocked me from the drop rates. If you just have a little look, you can clearly see the 400 credit pack has a lot more rares than the um, the 26 2000 credit packs. Uh, mostly because I think 400 credit packs are pretty much always too rare and a common, you know, or some variation. However, as you'll notice, there was only one less legendary in the 400 credit packs as opposed to the 2000 which that, that really shocked me I feel like if I'd done you know uh, if I compared previous packs say I compared the Spectre or the Cog Officer 400 credit packs compared to Savage Countess I don't know I, this, the drop rate for the legendaries would not have been the same I think if you open 54 Spectre or Cog Officer packs there is no way you would get 6 legendaries out of it uh, and likewise if you open 26 uh, say Savage Counters packs which they recently redid seven legendaries maybe maybe not but I would say the legendary drop rate on the 2000 credit is similar to what it has been in the past whereas the legendary drop rate on this 400 credit pack has definitely been boosted up I've never seen so many legendaries out of 400 credit packs before so I feel like the coalition have offered these two different packs to sort of see what people prefer. I mean, at the end of the day, everyone will prefer prefer the pack which gives all the characters quicker. You know, if there's a pack which has a higher drop rate, of course we prefer that. So, I think offering these two packs is a you know I don't, I don't really understand. It. I mean, they they've essentially said, oh, see what you prefer. Which would you rather buy, four hundred or two thousand? Well, you're going to look at them and say, I want the one with the character in. You know, I don't want to spend. 10 2000 credit uh packs to not get the character but then i don't you know yeah you know, i don't know I, i'm just really baffled by the fact they've offered this out 
So in conclusion, I think for this pack specifically, I don't actually think it matters which one you get. I mean, I would prefer to open 10,000 credits worth of the 2,000 credit packs and you know, have to spend more money per pack, but get it in a fewer amount of packs than open the 400 credit packs uh, or open more of the 400 credit packs, but still spend the same amount of money or amount of credits. Uh, um, yeah, let me know if you're watching because this is a little bit late this pack opening video but it had to be late in to get the statistics for other you know youtubers you know i've gone through ess helios sparkle search rc mills mc ricky don mb mandarin uh mand r in games and bad juju gaming you know those are just some of the youtubers well i think that's all of them that i watched to make this video but uh you know let me know how many packs it took you and what packs you'd open because you know I, I am interested to know because I, th I feel like they have changed the legendary drop rate for 400 credit packs but um yeah I think overall it doesn't matter which pack you get for this one because I feel they're quite similar so hope you enjoyed